you've been in there in Lane Kiffin's program and seen it firsthand. So for Ole Miss fans that don't really know, what is a Lane Kiffin program like day-to-day? How does he handle the day-to-day process of his program? First thing is he's involved in everything. He's front and center, man. Special teams, players, he's in players' faces. He's telling them not what they want to hear, but what they need to hear. He's real. He's coached in a lot of different systems, and he's seen different styles. And Lane will tell you, Ben, that that's the best thing that ever happened to him. As much as he went at it and fought with Saban, to see Saban the way Saban went about it versus the way Pete Carroll went about it, he said it was the best thing that ever happened to him because he's seen two different types of winning styles, guys that have won championships, guys that both coached the pro ball. You know, Lane was his, you know, himself was an NFL head coach. But he's just very real, very direct, very front and center. But he connects with the players. They like the fact that he's not going to pull any punches. But he relates well. He connects. Very, very competitive. We'll change it up. If you ever go to his practices and meetings, it's not just, you know, very monotonous. He will change it up. You know, he'll have some fun. He'll bring in people. Lane has a good blueprint for what he wants to do. Now, I think he's also learned from his mistakes. He's learned from some of the dumb things he said and done when he was younger. I'm not defending some of the things he said and done. I mean, they were dumb. I've told him that. He knows it. To his credit, he's learned. He's grown. He's evolved. He's still going to be Lane Kiffin. He's still going to be brash. He's still going to have fun. He's going to say what's on his mind. He's going to be on Twitter. But I think you're going to see him be a lot more measured. I'll tell you what he's more than anything, where he's changed in all the years that I've known him, is he's much more grateful for the opportunities that he's had, the doors that have been opened for him, the people that he's coached and learned under, and just the fact that he's where he is. I mean, see, he knows that a lot of eyes are going to be on him. I will say this is his last shot, but if he does go in there and screw this thing up, I don't see that he gets another power five head job.